What it do? It's your boy BC the Kid watching Juice Talk TV. I got the juice, man. Let's get it. Disrespectful dumb backwood guts on these bitches. I treat a freak hoe bold. Don't do no kissing. Bitch, get in my car. Give me your phone. No. Juice Talk TV. What the fuck it do, man? Very special guest in the building. Very special guest on the platform, man. This is a special one. This is one for the books, man. Um, the legend, the mogul. The, the 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 hustle, the grinder, you know, the one and only, the man himself, BC the kid, man. What's going on, my boy? How you feeling, my boy? Chilling, man. Staying out the way, man. This is a this is an honor, man. I, I finally get to meet you. Um, been a fan of your music since I was a kid. Appreciate you know what it. I'm saying because I'm pretty sure we all grew up around the same age. For sure. And uh, you know, to finally actually get the chance to meet you in presence is a real honor, man. I'm, I'm really sitting next to a living legend. I appreciate that, my boy. So it's only right that Juice Talk TV get your flowers, man. And it's, and it's not because you're on Juice Talk TV, and it's not because you're here, and it's not because I reached out and you responded. It's because you deserve it, BC. For sure. Um, anybody, everybody that's watching this will agree. And um, the proof is in the pudding. The music speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? And for I'm going to sure. let you go ahead and talk your shit because I know you're ready. You for know, sure. but I just had to give you a proper introduction, man, and give your flowers live and personal on Juice Talk TV. I appreciate that, my boy. And that's real shit. My boy, shit, man. I appreciate it, man. So how that feel when, when somebody call you a living legend, man? How that make you feel, man? Shit. Man, I ain't going to lie. Make a nigga feel good. Maybe you feel old. <laughs> But you're not. On the real, that's just crazy, bro. Just, I ain't oh, You nigga. just been putting work for you. young nigga. Yeah. On the real, but yeah. I'll, I'll be feeling good when a motherfucker say, like, I'll be somewhere at a gas station just doing me, getting some woods. Nigga say, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nigga, nigga grew up to your shit. That's, you see what I just On said? Real, <laughs> I'll be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And BC, it's, it's very a pleasure, man. It's an honor to meet you, man. And, uh, this goes for every living legend that's here in the mill, man, because we got a lot. For sure. But you definitely are one of the first. Man, I appreciate that, man. So without further ado, man, for the fans and for the people who haven't seen you on this platform in particular, let them know who BC the Kid is. Man, BC the Kid, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the mill. Been doing this music shit for a long time. Since a young nigga, since I was like shit. I can't remember when I wasn't doing it, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to put on for the city. Just trying to turn up, show motherfuckers what we about. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make this shit go far. Stand down with this shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the real. And that you did. That you did. Um, if I could ask, man, what side of town you grew up on in here in the city? Man? Sure, I grew up on the north side. Okay. On the real. Okay. 26 in Capitol. Oh man, that's that street for me. Down the street for me. Man, I'm on 48. Okay. So you by uh, uh, by that kind of by the Popeyes and shit. Yeah, that's like 24 for a little bit. The Popeyes, that's like on 29th. Oh okay. I'm right by the uh the Sharks right on the corner. Hooks. By the yeah, hooks. Yeah. yeah. By the two gas stations. By the two okay, gas stations. Yeah. Good yeah, man. That's good. That's this legendary right there, man. By the Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to uh uh. But my boy, that always repped the Wendy's right there. Ray Rizzy. Ray Rizzy. Hardhead. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ray Rizzy. Um, that's another person we got tapped into. For sure. Um, so siblings, man, you the only child, or was you like the oldest? Or? No, I'm the oldest. I got two little sisters. Okay. No, I got a big sister on my dad's side. Okay. A lot of my mama kids. I'm the firstborn. I, I got two they, little I sisters. I looked up to you too. Oh, you for know. sure. My yeah. babies, man. I know they respect your music, your grind, your hustle. I'm like, yeah, that's my brother. No, nah, for sure. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So how was your childhood growing up here in the city, man? Because, I mean, I don't It's it, it, it seemed like you was a superstar at the age of 15 or some shit like that. I ain't going to lie, bro. Shit, my childhood was lit, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. I could tell. I could tell, man. I really was spoiled, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm the okay. first. I'm the first boy in my whole family, bro. Wow. Out of my all my granny grandkids, I'm the first I'm the first boy. So I had everything I wanted, you know what I'm saying? I ain't 
I ain't got no bad ass story like a nigga ain't go without. Oh, that's what, and that's what I like to hear, man. A lot of people make it try to seem like you gotta go through something bad to become something good. No, for sure. And you know, or they try to make it seem like just because you had a family or two parents in the household that it was soft or some shit. Yeah, like that. You know yeah. I mean? That's guidance. I mean, you wouldn't probably be beat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I really, I really had it way different. I really blessed, bro, because that's like up, man. when I turn. 15, my mom's and my pops, when they were still together, she moved to Glendale. Mm. So I really, I was, you know what I'm saying? I got to see her some other shit. That's what like, so. damn, like a nigga, I, wanted, I want this shit for myself. Yeah, I was finna say, and it opened real. up your eyes to, 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 to see more of the world. In fact, I'm shocked I'm going to Nicolay and shit. That's when I really started rapping. I was um, gonna get to that's that's crazy. That's what I was gonna ask you about school. <laughs> no bullshit, man. I went, I went to Nicolay and they had a studio in that motherfucker. I was already rapping when I was in grade school, mm. so we moved in. We moved to Glendale, nice ass house. I'm like, dog, what the fuck? Just like some different type of, just some movie shit. You know mm, what I'm saying? Like some shit you would see uh, on, on TV shows. Yeah, no shit. bullshit. But I'm, I'm in Nicolay. I ain't even taking advantage of that shit. My sisters, they took advantage of that shit. I'm at school, skipping class, going right to the studio every day, mm. doing mixtapes, all that shit. I get kicked out that motherfucker. And Nicolay? Nicolay get kicked out, fuck it off, fuck the whole little shit I'm supposed to do, fuck all yeah. that shit off. But that's when I started rapping though, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit. I'm like, shit, I'm out here, right? you so, know what I'm so, saying? So was, the, was it a, a requirement for you to be able to use their studios? It was a broadcasting class, like some shit like this. That's what's up. So you had to do like the backdrops and shit, but I'm in there like every day like i'm i ain't going to no other class i'm like i gotta do this shit. i gotta do some um, broadcasting work i'm in there making whole mixtapes dog you a full <laughs> bc in there because i was already making beats and shit on fruity loops mm -hmm. like in eighth grade doing that shit. i had the first fruity loops bro like oh, this shit was big textures tech uh, textures locks yeah yeah so i'm already having beats and the stacking the layers of the, yeah. the sound and notes and shit. I oh, the I'm dropping whole oh, mixtapes, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm finna do this shit. Right in school. Right in school, bro. The principal, all of them heard that shit. Wow. I end up sharing it on the iTunes or some shit. They they pulling me to the office like, what's this? I shared, <laughs> I shared it to the whole school iTunes. Teachers coming up to me like, what's that shit you were rapping? Bro, <laughs> you you spam the school. I spam the school, bro. Before, see, and that's another thing that we're going to tap into because you was... Doing a lot of shit before a lot of shit was being done now. Yeah. You spam the school. You know how niggas spam emails and shit now? Yeah, I spammed the whole school, bro. Oh, you a fool, dog. The whole school knew about my rap. That's crazy. They walking up to me like, hey, big Chris, I heard your music. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? How they hear this shit? I got in trouble. They kicked me out. Oh, word. <laughs> Straight up. They kicked me out the shit. They wouldn't let me go back to the broadcasting class no more. So I'm like, damn, now what I'm going to do? They kicked me out of school. I ain't got no studio to drop no more. Damn. I started fucking with my nigga Doughboy. Doughboy. Here from Milwaukee. From Milwaukee. He an older nigga. He had a studio, though. He had a studio at his crib. I started going to drop. Mm. And ever since then, I've just been in that motherfucker. Mm. In the booth. What about um, some of your idols and inspirations growing up? From the city or just all together? Um, let's start. Yeah, because you started, your career started at a very young age. Yeah. So let's take it back to then when you uh when I first let's start listening to when rap you and first shit. start getting into it. I ain't gonna lie. My first inspiration with that shit when I was a kid, of course, you know, like Tupac. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I that's the that's the first rapper I could remember and shit, because my big cousin used to listen to that shit. Okay. So I'm like I liked it Tupac. When I really started getting into my own Flavor, where I like my first tape I ever bought was Juvenile, Four Hundred Degrees. Wow, that's the first shit I listened to. Old Cash Money, Hot Boys, all that type of shit was my inspiration. And then you know, as that went on, you know, Fifty Cent, niggas listening to shit like that. But when I say from the city, shit, you know, Baby Drew. Oh, I remember my pops come to the crib one day. Like I just got this CD from Niggas don't about that uh, hero. Look, uh, ghetto hero, I played that shit out. Man. And when I was in high school, the first nigga I really heard that, you know, Baby Drew got that old school. Oh, yeah, man. Bob, I can Goldfang, listen to that shit. Mr. Goldfang. Yeah, you, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? But the first nigga I really heard that was talking crazy was Risco. 
No keep, bullshit. Keep it going. I'm finna take the camera. Keep All right, it going. So, uh, yeah. Risco, that was the first nigga I heard that really. Man, Risco is a fool, man. Man, Risco that had me hot. like, I'm finna Four, start rapping. Six block. What play, player made Reese go, but Reese it won't stop. What I heard, I heard the Simps from that beat. That Simps, I said, What the fuck? Damn, Who the fuck see, is this nigga? Bro, you know, they be see this shit give me chills because when I bring up certain Milwaukee artists, niggas don't even be knowing who I be talking about. They don't be knowing, bro. For you to say Reese go, that's how I know. That's when I wanted to do that shit, bro. Oh, that Simpson beat was crazy. You swear, mm -hmm. I I said, this nigga talking so He's crazy. Talking that, talking, man, like the wave back then was so crazy, man. And that's what I listen to every day when I really started to rap was Reese Go for sure. Snapped, so I gotta then, give it to him. So Shout you, out to Scholar, man. And then I know you probably had to listen to DRE. Oh, matter of fact, my pops used to work with DRE. Dumb. That's the first nigga I heard before I heard Baby Drew. He came in the house with his CD too. Shout out to my pops, because I ain't gonna lie, my pops really listened to rap. He got me that's into that shit. Said. That's what's it. Or uh, nigga, he came in the house with a DRE C. Like I work with this nigga. DRE, he had a Jerry curl on the. Mix yes, that, my nigga. On the real. Damn BC though. Oh, bullshit. Yes, my nigga. Yes, man. We playing that shit. I said this shit. It was some old school shit though. Yeah, I mean, it, but it, I'm like, it, I'm just it, happy this niggas from the city. I ain't never knew Milwaukee had yeah, rappers. I'm a man, kid. You know, you know, you know, you know we coming from pimping. Facts. That's how they was rapping back that's then. How they was rapping on some real pimp shit. On you know, some real pimp shit. Niggas was rapping about strictly pimping back then. Oh, that was the vibe in the city. Damn, you snapped. Man. You just it back. So, ugh, man, you hit. That's. I knew this was gonna be a good one. Oh, for sure, bro. I know, man. I know a lot, and and like I said, man, it's good when somebody else can chime in on the things that you know. Because for sure, that shit is a that's a beautiful little uh, foundation right there back then, man. Oh yeah, that was some key players, man. But there was one thing. It was a couple people I wanted to put in your repertoire, man. Um, Back then, when you was really on your BC the Kid tip, man, I heard a lot of uh, Zaytoven oh, and yeah. Gucci influence too, bro. Man. Zaytoven, my favorite producer See, ever, look, bro. I would never even know that, but Gucci. I could hear it in your beats back then. Yeah, Gucci, my favorite man. Gu I heard, no, I ain't gonna lie, Gucci, but OJ the Juice. I man. was finna say, but OJ too. OJ the Juice, man. That's why I really was listening to OJ and motherfucking um J Money. Oh my God, damn! Nigga couldn't BC, tell me shit about them, bro. Right now, <laughs> if a nigga would have told me in 08 that, that them niggas weren't gonna be like lit today, that's J Money. Man, I would have told them to shut the fuck up, them oh, niggas. Man. man, I still listen to Juice Man to this hey. day. All that old Ju that Juice World mixtape, man, I stole that CD. My baby, my um, my sister, baby, daddy live in. They live in Memphis. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, we went to Memphis. I went to go see. I got a big sister. She like eight years older than me. So I go down there like back in the day, like it's like oh, hey, he got the Juice World mixtape. I steal the motherfucker. We come back to Milwaukee. We, I put that shit in me and my dad. He called the phone, man. Where the hell my Juice, my Juice Man mixtape? We down there five hours out of business. <laughs> man, turn that shit back up, pop. Do you over. know which one it was? Was it like Culinary Art School? It's the Juice something? World, the first one. Oh, I must have missed they that. They called me Young Juice. I am Name the damn truth. truth. Okay, that one. Okay, because he had a lot of shit. I'm getting money. That with that on there. That's what the, okay. Yep. It had to be there. The first time, I'm like, dog, who the fuck is this? I steal that shit. I'm like, Damn, I gotta have this shit. I definitely hear some of those influences. Zay told me for sure, like, that was Hell my favorite yeah, one. man. I could hear it, man. And back then, you feel right, right on in, man. Especially man. at that time. So, actually, man, let's take it back again, man. Let's actually take it back to yo, yo hot, your hot. Days, man, your fire blazing days for man. sure. Um, about 13, 14 years ago, maybe a little. Wait, what was it? Like, oh, I came out like my job, my first take, like, oh, no, nah. nah. yeah, you know, I'm gonna set the dip shirts, yeah, for sure. Cartier, you was you was the original Don Dada Cartier wearing ass. Man, we been talking about all that shit before the before the rimless frames, you had yep. the full frame range, and I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my nigga K Sillion. He's a gimme. It was fool back then. You know oh, what okay. I mean? okay. But we was young niggas, yeah, bro. Man, come on now. But BC. we like, we like, fuck it. We wanna. We, we had, we was wearing polos. No bullshit. Come on, BC. Back in the day, niggas could get away with the, with the fool, fool watches yeah, and shit, yeah, fool yeah, earrings, yeah. Hey, fool but glasses. The lips, though. Oh yeah. That shit was a whole nother level, though. Man, 
Always been that. Always been. Now I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna say the older niggas was having motion. Niggas was having real shit, but oh, the yeah, young niggas already yeah. we fifteen. We, we in the club, we in club sugar. We in sugar, we saying? young niggas. I'ma style with that shit on. But it looked good and, we, and it, it wasn't that serious as it is. Hell no, it wasn't caught with that fake ass shit on. Not today. The young niggas today have emotion. They 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 dropping real shit. So yeah. I salute the young niggas, they having their way right now. But yeah. back then we was wearing fool shit. I if a nigga get on here saying he has some real shit back then he capped. That's, what That's a fact, is. but it wasn't even about that. It, it was about, exactly. it was having about fun. the movement. Exactly. The bullshit, the movement. The movement, man. The been talking, he been talking about yays, though, way mm-hmm. before. That's why I, I uh, was telling my Detroit niggas, like, bro, before we heard any of you niggas' music, bro, we was talking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? We, we, been, we come from a city, like I said, of pimp niggas, bro. Niggas been fresh and wearing minks and... Gators and all yeah, that shit. Right. Pimping. Niggas been yeah, wearing right. Cartier's back in the day. In the 90s and shit. Yeah, right. The 80s. Yeah. So that's like we... That's where our generation... If you a 90s baby, you come from... Shit, your, your mama and your daddy was fly back then. They you was a fresh ass kid. They when definitely you had the MCM suit. Full all that suit, shit. The bucket hat. All that shit. No bullshit. Yeah. So yeah, man. Let's like I said, taking it back. You know, we had to we had the dip shirts. Dip shirts. Dip shirts. You know what I'm saying? We got our own swag. Has B ass t shirts. Jabos. Uh, Jabos. Motherfucking rock ports. Mo- polos. Polos for sure. <laughs> NBA socks. Heli NBA socks. Heli Heli Hansen. Man. Levi. Uh, all that uh, shit. Uh, uh, Pellies. Pe- oh, the Pelly Pell fans. All that shit. Damn, man. You know, whack whammy. Everybody, bang, bang. damn, can't wait. <laughs> Everybody just lit. Everybody having fun. Everybody. And, uh, what What was some of your um greatest memories, if you can, man, around those days, man? Because you was bro, you were the days. It was you, so many, and so bro. many other people. I'm, I'm gonna throw in there, but it's about you right now, man. So it's so many memories, bro. Just every weekend, bro. Man, club Net, sugar. Dinner every every weekend, club sugar, bro. Then. They had bashes like every day. Yeah, at the Powell Center. Powell, nigga. Um, I don't even remember a club called Baba Lou's. On, on the national. South, on national. Yeah. That bitch rocking. Uh, <sighs> Baba Lou's. Oh, man, man. Pl- everywhere. everywhere. Anywhere nigga it's... have a party at. I'm a style. I'm a style. Nigga. I think the Ladybug was out at that time. Yep. That's when six when they was the Ladybug. Lady uh, motherfucking questions on uh, uh on the corner right there on north. Yo, north, yeah. Damn, BC. that bitch rocking. Man, bro. man, so many memories. So time. many, bro. Traffic smacking. And this when traffic was like traffic, real traffic, man. real traffic. None of this stoly kid boy shit. Man, listen, that shit going down from whenever the club let out to five, five in the morning. In the morning. I'm talking my niggas on the highway driving backwards. Turn lit. Chevys, big box. Any and nigga, really any car, really any car. <laughs> oh God! But if you had a Chevy back then, you lead in the traffic, you turn. Yeah, you turn on the real. Yeah. But I'm talking about nigga, we having fun, young niggas, bro. My childhood was lit. My teenage years was lit, and I, then I'm I making did. the music. So and you making the music, so everybody turned to my shit. Dog, in this the shit was so crazy, though. On the real, was so crazy, man. And that's why we had to have you on this show, man. For sure. To give your flowers, man. It's I appreciate right. it. It's only right. Um, so 2009, man, valid ass guy, man. You was about how old at that time? 18. You was 18, man. Mm-hmm. You was viral, like I said, you was viral before fucking viral was even a term. No, for sure. At that time, for you sure. Know what I'm saying like fucking like you, you had the hits of uh, jacking and whacking on there with 414 to Don. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 414 Don. Um, can't nobody jack on me. Yeah, that's my shit right Hood there. Classic. Sure. Classic, man. Hood class classic. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Did you really understand what you was doing at that time? Did it did you know or it was just like you, you were just living? Like Bro, I ain't gonna lie. No, nah, bro. I re- see how this shit went about. I was fucking with L Bug real heavy, like every true, day. True. I'm making his beats. His CD came out before my shit. So I'm like, man, I'm just watching him tee up in the city. He going out. He doing shows. Motherfuckers geek for him. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get in some shit like this. I ain't trying to be no background, nigga. I'm trying to be turnt. Mm-hmm. So I'm just 
the whole time I'm with Elba, we every day, I'm just making beats. You know, I'm making all the beats. I made dinner every beat on that mixtape. Oh, you a fool, man. So we going out. I'm just seeing shit every night. We going to parties every night. We going to bashes. We going to the club. I'm like, bro, I know what niggas saying. I know what niggas want to hear. You know what I'm saying? I know what's going to tee niggas up. I ain't know how that shit was going to be on no classic shit. You know what I'm saying? I just was trying to, I couldn't even think this far ahead. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a young nigga, 17, 18 years old. Damn, I ain't, man. I'm just thinking like I'm trying to turn up right now. I'm trying to hear myself in the car. I don't want to play no other niggas. And that's what you did. On the real. You turned the CD up with that. Y'all turned the CD up with Factuals. That no bullshit. I mean? um, then, you know, you turned it up a notch, 2014, young and racked up. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For Turned sure. it up a lot. Um, that's when you got in your bag and you linked up with uh, Lou Graham. Oh, yeah. Dame My Doc. <clears throat> Dame Doc. Larry Bird. Shout out to Larry Bird. Shout man. out to Larry Bird. Um, how did that link up happen? Like, with, you know, with the Detroit, like the Detroit uh, music scene. So, um, you know, they was coming up here and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when team, we first heard about. Doughboy Cash Out. Mm, and they was going heavy. Yeah, that's like 2012. 12, yeah. So like 2013, we started hearing about Team Esau. They coming up here doing shows. Mm -hmm. But I'm fucking with them. I'm fucking with Doughboy Cash Out. But then when I hear Team Esau, I said, bro, these niggas rapping. These niggas really talking that street shit. Like niggas doing the same shit we really talking about now. Mm. This, this 2013, niggas was off that dance and shit. Niggas was off that. That shit was childish now. Now niggas grown now. Now niggas want some money. So now niggas hustling. Now niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I come from, my mom, she 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 moved out to Glendale. But I'm by, by the time she moved out there, I'm grown down there. Mm -hmm. So she like, you got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, really. Right. I'm, I'm doing me every day. That's why I said I was privileged. I'm doing me all in the streets with my niggas every day. And I'm going back home out here to this nice ass neighborhood. But I'm like, damn, my niggas, they... I'm like, niggas don't understand. Like, I got it really good. Like, I got to find something to do because, like, my niggas ain't really coming home to, like, shit exactly. like this. You know what I'm saying? My niggas tell me, like, bro, you blessed, bro, because you really be out here with us. And then you get to go back to the crib. But it's like, niggas thinking, like, bro, why you doing this type of shit? Like, why you even out here? Because I'm like, bro, it ain't what y'all think. My mama ain't giving me no paint, bro. I ain't spoiled, bro. She telling me, like, you ain't want to, I ain't go to school. You got to find your own way. That's what my mama care about school. So I'm hustling. So I'm like, man, this Team Esau shit. This the, like, this the life. I'm living this. I'm listening to this shit. So I'm like, I got to do a song with these niggas. Uh, I do the nothing to a boss with Bird. He just get, right. he get out of jail. Right. Now, really, niggas don't know. I'm going to have to give it to him. Bird was out back then. Late. He was the only nigga rapping like that, though. That slap rap. That slap rap. But niggas was rapping about jacking and whacking and... Club Sugar. He was talking about cracking. He was talking about cracking. Yeah. Since back then. Yeah. So he go to jail. Now while he in jail, his uh four one snow mixtape. He get the circulating around. Cause yeah. like I told you, niggas went on that dancing shit no more. Oh, yeah. Now niggas hustling. So they listening to Bird. Like this mixtape really oh oh eight oh nine. But it's like that's the that's the C D niggas listen to while they hustle. He get out. I'm like, we supposed to been do some shit. Soon as he get out, I got nothing to a boss because I wanted to put Dang Dot on it at mm. first, but I couldn't get in touch with him. So I'm like, fuck it. I had the song for like three, four, five months. Mm. I'm like, Bird, I got a song for you right here. It's for you, my nigga. We supposed to bend it, this shit. I pull up on him, I give it to him. Now nothing to a boss going crazy because the city waiting on Bird to drop some new shit. Exactly. You know what I'm mean? saying? So they know the song. They don't even know that's me on the song with Bird. They're like, that's BC the kid? Oh, for real? The jacket nigga? Like, the bad <laughs> shit? Oh, what said... the fuck? BC going crazy. So, boom. Now to a boss going crazy in the city. This is the same time they bring it to you. Me saw here. So they hear the shit. But by the time they get to hearing it, Bird back locked up. So Lou Graham hit me on Instagram like, hey, whose song is that? That's mm. your song or that's Bird's song? I'm like, it's our, it's both our song. It's my song, but you know, that's my nigga. He own it. Right, right. He's like, I want to get on that shit. Wow. I'm like, no, nah, bro. Because I wanted Dame Dot on that shit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to get that nigga Dame on this song one way or another. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, we could do some more shit. So me and Lou just get to tapping in. He sending me, he fuck around and tap in with Tay Love. That quick. Because that's my, you know, Tay Love was my producer. 
I tap him. He said, I want some beats like that. I tap him in with Tay Love. He get a beat. Me and him going back and forth sending shit. We just dropping. Dropping. Yeah, after Fire. that, we done got, man, me and Lou got so much shit from back then. Shout yeah. out to my nigga Lou Grimes, man. man. Shout out to Lou Grimes, man. I push, I push my buffs up on you niggas. It's